is up guys this is Gary coming at you with a full my thoughts and review on the MT4 G3 four-wheel drive monster truck from Thunder Tiger now this thing retails for most of the time $500 uh, it really depends on if you can find them where you find them all that kind of jazz but um I don't know this is gonna be a short review video because uh, I'm just gonna tell you what I like about the truck and uh, do I not like anything about the truck well uh, I guess we'll get into that all right you guys so um just going over the truck a little bit uh, it is a 1 8 scale flat aluminum chassis monster truck or you know truggy based monster truck the monster truck comes from basically just the tires everything else is like truckified based on buggy basically um so i love the electronic system in this that is a pro for sure um i love how it comes with the wheelie bar the chassis the tires are really really good um i kind of doubted people's uh opinion on these tires i thought they were gonna be good but not as good as they are. Um, they are actually really, really good tires. I was 100% wrong about the body. Um, you guys have seen what kind of hell I have put this body through. I mean, it's got one small crack down here. Um, it's a little worse for wear, but as far as bodies go, I mean, it's still hanging in there and it's still got a whole lot of life left in it. And I think it looks really cool too. So kudos for the body I was totally wrong about it I didn't think it was going to be able to take as much punishment as it has but it has hung in there and still going strong now coming to the truck I have had absolutely no problems with this truck uh, other than hitting LVC and um, that one time where I just kind of died in the air but I think it was because the off on switch was flopping around at that time and I think it just got hit enough to shut the truck off momentarily, but then keep it on. Um, but other than that, I relocated the off on switch to right here and I haven't had one single issue with this truck, not one breakage. Um, you guys, I'll go ahead and do a little durability montage right now. Whoa. Can we save it? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this thing took a beating. <laughs> so, <laughs> took a beating, still here, still perfectly functional. Um, the Ripper and ACRC combo is, like I've said several times, just testing this truck, one of my favorite combos if not my favorite that I've ever ran um, the only ESC I can think that I like more is uh, the Mamba Monster 2 and you know that's substantially more expensive than this it's about you know 30 40 dollars more and then uh, I don't know if I'd like the castle motor more because I just love the Ripper with the Ace RC is just an awesome combo um, like I said, no breakages. We'll just go over, you know, you got your, uh, camber links on the rear with your H arms on the bottom. They are adjustable with the turnbuckles. Um, it does have a uh, track bar on the rear, not on the front, but it does come with it in a little spare parts baggy. Um, full pillow ball up front with adjustable everything. I mean, this thing is just set up guys. Um, front center rear diff all good um i really like this transmitter other than the six double a's um you get a ton of adjustment and you know you even get the the throttle adjustment where you can uh, the dual rate for the throttle so if you're gonna let somebody who's not very experienced drive this thing with all that power you can turn the dual rate down on the on the throttle and you can make this thing put around and then you can just turn it all the way up and make it crazy now the only thing I would say this truck probably 
would like one thing I would consider changing on this truck would be the stock servo. The stock servo is pretty weak, especially for the size and the grip of the tires. It tends to get pretty fatigued by the end of the uh, the run. You know, a full pack of batteries. You know, you'll see it slowly not wanting to turn the uh, the tires. I think it just gets tired, but. If I was going to say any upgrade besides the chassis brace would be the servo. Um, outside of that, throw a chassis brace on it and have freaking fun because this thing is a ton of fun. I actually am thinking about selling my Sin Colossus just to buy one of these right now because I am going to miss this thing when I raffle it off because I have officially driven this thing for the last time. And the raffle is going to be tonight, guys. Um, basically, that's all I have to say about this this thing. Is It is an absolute awesome, awesome RC. It is worth more money than you pay for it. Um, this has taken a tie for the top one of my favorite uh, RCs. I would put this thing even with the the Techno MT410. Um, it's probably not as durable. Um, you know, you'll probably get a little more life and stuff out of the out of the Techno, but this thing is an absolute blast to drive, guys. And I am so thankful to you guys who participated in the donation and raffle that you guys let me test this truck out because now I know I want this truck. I am going to be getting one of these trucks. So, uh, yeah, that's basically where I'm going to leave it, guys. Thunder Tiger, you did an amazing job with this truck. Kudos to you. Thumbs up 100%. This thing gets double stamped approval by me. I don't have anything bad to say about this truck. Outside of the fact it's hard to find. And just change out that stock servo. Get just a slightly better servo would uh, serve you perfectly. But that's going to be it for this review video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned to Killer Offroad Hobbies. we got a ton more coming at you. Like I said, there'll be the raffle tonight. It'll be posted around 9.30 Pacific Standard Time. So go ahead and check that out. See who won. And uh, we're just going to keep this thing rolling. We're uh, doing good on the Outcast. And I know a lot of you guys are waiting until this thing's gone. Raffled off to see, you know, what's going to be next. All right. So the link for the donation will be in the description below so if you want to get in on the outcast go ahead and check that out and get out there get an rc go have some fun and we'll see you right back here on the next video from killer off-road hobbies this is gary saying you guys are awesome peace